All right, this is the summarized or condensed version of a video I just made. So basically, how you turn a fountain pen into a printer is to take printer ink and use it in a fountain pen. Um, and so what I do, instead of buying pre-made pre um, fountain, uh, fountain pen cartridges, I take fountain pen cartridges that have been used up. If they're emptied, I just take a syringe dip it in there, draw up some ink from this uh, reservoir of uh, printer ink, which I got like four pints for like 35 bucks, but if you're just gonna use black, you could probably get it for like less than $10 and get a one pint jar of it. And, you know, if you don't mind, sometimes it's a, a little bit more, more thin than actual fountain pen ink, but it seems to work similarly. Um, I would still be very careful, so I just draw, what I do is I just draw the ink out, then I put it in here, reinsert, uh, insert it into the cartridge, refill the cartridge, and put it back on there. Now, I don't know how many times you could do this before it stops being able to do that or it gets leaky around the edges of the cartridge, but, you know, it can be a little bit, it's like, this is kind of like for those people that like to refill their own printer cartridges. Now you have a way of also refilling your fountain pens and turning your fountain pen into a low-tech printer. It's an inkjet, or, you know, it's like a low-tech inkjet. So if you want to draw pictures with it, it's like un almost unlimited ink for very inexpensive. And I just drew a little smiley face. Okay, and so does it work? Of course it does. The elephant. It's hard to see where this is going. Here, let me move this out of the way. Yeah. And fountain pens are best for cursive. Eric, the elephant, YouTube channel. See, I turned my fountain pen into a printer just by using printer inks. Thank just be sure that when you're using this type of uh, setup, you don't put it upside down in your pocket. Otherwise, it will oftentimes leak out. And you'll see how there's some like discoloration here. It's because I had it upside down in my pocket and turned my pocket purple or turned it, you know, bright blue. That's when I said, "Oh, okay. So I should have been more careful." But anyways, um, you might be like wondering like, if you're going to write on there. Uh, does printer ink work just like regular fountain pen ink? It's not too bad. I mean, it seems to work just fine. And then, see that? You would say, oh, well, the printer ink's going to take forever to dry. No, it's not. Eric. This is, this is my favorite. Like, if I, my uh, favorite logo. Turn it into a fish. There's my fish logo. But see how fast that dries, just like any other type of pen. And I just use printer ink, magenta. And you can buy those off of uh, any internet, like if you just search on the like Amazon site or whatever. Uh, you'll get, you can buy like a jar like this for maybe 10 bucks of black or red or like if you get all the colors, you could use it for your printer if you, or printer cartridges if you, you know, don't mind really going like super cheap and then, you know, things could happen. I, I think I might have damaged a couple of printers doing that because the inks were not really awesome, but they work fine for a primitive printer like this. Thank you.